So today's Vanguard episode is going to be replaced by a Luciano vlog. And tomorrow's Luciano vlog is going to be replaced by a Vanguard episode. I'm sorry, guys. I just haven't had the time to prepare a lot of things. Been kind of busy uh, preparing, uh, preparing and getting Set 10 ready in the system. And Set 10 has been selling super well. Thank you, dude. And it's a... Uh, it's a lot of work, all right. So let's let's just talk about a few things. First and foremost, uh, what are burnouts and what are buyouts? So burnouts, right? So I, I experienced a mini burnout this week because uh, I think I pulled I pulled like a fifteen a fifteen hour uh, like fifteen hour day at Geek Tooth, uh, helping to crack the set, prep the set, put the singles in. You know, like that, 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 that was a really long day for me at Geek Toot. I love, I love chilling at Geek Toot, but sometimes the grind is harder than we expect it to be. And therefore, like, you're, you've got to understand that at the end of the day, man, I'm only human. I, like, I think I slept like three hours that night, went back, did another six, and crashed and burned. I burn till like the next day, quite literally. That's like burnouts are unhealthy, but it's when you exert too much energy over a short duration of time. Sorry, I gotta do the mask glasses thing. Not, uh, I'm gonna look like fucking uh, Scooby Doo with my foggy eyes. Um, so yeah, um, basically, ba ba basically burning out is like when you spend too much energy over a short period of time. And then you really don't feel like doing anything. And I was I was kind of like that for about a day, and then then I I, I I got I got back into the group. You know, it's like TCG releases are super important to Geek Tooth, and so I got my priorities straight. And uh, I just went back, and we got the job done. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, there were a lot of hardships, a lot of yelling, a lot of complaining, but overall, at the end of the day, we had a blast. We're family. We uh, we help each other out, and that's that's what counts. And buyouts. Now it's a buyout, right? Say I have ten copies of her, right? Say you can play four copies in your deck. Why would you buy all ten? Ten would be a buyout, right? Say this card is super popular. It's like ten bucks. I'm selling it for ten, but it's like twenty bucks, right? It's like because we're having like a super special deal or whatever, and you buy out all ten. That's a buyout because you're gonna buy ten, keep whatever you need, and then sell the rest for mad fucking profits. So buying out in the TCG world is seen as a bad thing because it doesn't give like especially in a small community where you know like sometimes you have enough for just a few amount of players. If one person takes all the cards away from all those players, the players aren't gonna be happy at the end of the day. Now they're gonna be mad. And so the importance, the importance of buyouts, the importance of not doing buyouts is to respect the stores. Sure, you want to make money, but if you want to make money, go get a job. Go get a job. Don't ruin everyone's hobby because you're selfish. A message from all shop owners in the world. Don't be selfish. If you really want money, go get a job. Don't spend your day flipping cards. Because get what? Guess what? Merchanting is only like a job in RuneScape. In real life, it's a very, very scummy move. And sure, a lot of people do it. A lot of people do that with sealed product, singles, and stuff like that. And do we respect those people? A lot less than we should, you know? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whew. I'm wearing the mask indoors even when I have the AC on. I feel like I'm done. It's, it's so hot. I can do it like there's so much ventilation that you know it's passable, but here in my room, like I have a one I have one air current going this way. And nothing going that way. So it's like <gasps> Yeah. But basically, yeah. So the importance of not doing buyouts is A A the reason why buyouts are bad. A it doesn't allow the community to get their hands on the cards they need. B, it increases the use of selfishly, well, it, it, it increases your ego because you, you think you're smart and all doing that, but, you know, stores can see what you order, and stores can, you know, deliberately change your order legally. Uh, three, 
Um, yeah, it, it increases the scalper price on the secondary market. You know, price manipulation is a real it's a real business tactic. Like you will buy something at like five dollars, but you will buy all the copies at five dollars. So that it no longer exists at five dollars. And then for you are the only one, say in Canada, who owns this product and it is super well needed. Take hand sanitizer for an instance, right? Hand sanitizer used to retail for $4.99. Now hand sanitizer retails for $11.99. Why? Because some schmuck before buy limits happened in stores, right? Like I'm talking grocery stores, pharmacies, and stuff like that. Some schmuck just ran around like a bunch of schmucks, you know, because they're like, toilet paper, sanitizer, it's the end of the world. And they're like, all right, so we'll buy everything. Uh, you need something? I'm sorry, it's three times the price. But like, logistically speaking, how the heck are you going to use a hundred liters of hand sanitizer during COVID? Yeah. Or how the heck are you going to use 2,000 rolls of toilet paper during COVID? What are you going to eat that allows you to go to the bathroom that often? That would be unhealthy. I mean, if you're chugging down plum pudding because you really want to go to the bathroom, bro, trust, it's not worth it. But yeah, but buyouts are seen as a bad thing. A, like, like I said, A, because it stops people from getting the cards they want. B, makes you look scummy as all heck. Three, it increases price, it, it encourages price manipulation and scalpers. And four, they're just disrespecting all your homies. Imagine you playing a trading card game with all your homies. And two of your other homies play the same deck you do. And there are 12 copies of a card that you need four of in your deck. You decide, I'll buy all 12 because I make more money than everyone else. Right? You know, you are the selfish guy that's working 40 hours a week. You're like, I've got the best paying job. Oh, I've got this. Oh, I've got I got mad respect to flex on the scrubs, you know? And then, you know, just buy all 12 copies. Your friends show up at the card shop. They're like, yo, I really need this card for my deck. They're like, sorry, your friend over there bought all 12 copies. And then your two homies are like, the hell, bro? Like, what's wrong with you? Are you like the boom boom in the brain? You are boom boom in the brain if you do that to your own homies. So, yeah, that's, that's like one thing you got to understand, you know? Like, if you, like... Flip off a homie for no reason. That homie ain't likely to be your homie no more, you know? You know, I'm doing the Italian thing where I speak with my hands, you know? Ta 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 ta! Words coming out of my mouth. So, but yeah, buyouts are bad. Kids do not do them, or anyone in my video, or any, any of my audience. If you do buyouts, I don't like you. Why would you buy out? Okay, so I thought I said the cons of buying out, but here are the pros of buying out. You, you are a broke ass with just enough money that you can make more money if you bought out all these cards and manage to sell them at a profitable margin rate. So say, okay, it's an okay money maker. Let's say, depending on your profit margins, you can maybe make $100 to $1,000 a day. If you're really that good. If you're really that good. Because keep in mind, keep in mind, you're only making money when you sell everything. If you sell one card at a time, you're going to be in a pretty big deficit fast if you have to buy more, you know? Because if you buy 10 and then sell 1 and then buy 10 and then sell 2, you still have 17 copies left to sell. Right? Right, right. But, of course, you know, if you find a card that is 5 bucks, you buy it at 25 cents, you sell it for 5 bucks, you sold it for 20 times its worth. That's a very good buy. But... Buying out guys, kids, ladies, gentlemen, old people, uh, ambassadors of the world, whatever, whoever the heck you are, do not buy stuff out. If you buy stuff out, you are scummy, you are a pest to the, to the world of economics and free trade, honestly. Now, that's all I got to say for this video, because, you know, I got to go... Ching chong, back to geek tune. <laughs> I'm loving this video. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching the video. As I was, smash 
that like button. Destroy that subscribe button. Ah, well, you know, you know what to do. The rest is you tune in to the channel, you watch the stuff, and you like the stuff, you know. Thanks. Have a good one, guys. Ciao.